The Coalition of Aggrieved Men's Gold Customers had scheduled the 12th September to commemorate two years since the collapse of Men's Gold Company. The objective of the program was to remember the about 67 customers who died in the process of recovering their locked up funds and those who are yet to be paid. The program was expected to bring together customers of men's gold across the country that are yet to receive their locked up funds. However, with few hours to the day, the coalition was served with an injunction to suspend the intended commemoration. According to the chairman for the coalition, Isaac Nyako, the program was not meant to go against any legal order. He says the injunction looks politically motivated. And who says demonstrations happen on Saturday? Who is going to have a demonstration? Even to check the letter. With the letter, we serve them, says, commemoration of two years collapse of men's good. They went to court and wrote demonstration of commemoration. Who writes such an English? To serve to court, and then you go to court and you write demonstration of commemoration. Which who is demonstrating? We are seriously surprised about the way they went about things. Government has seriously manipulated the police to have our rights taken away from us. We we believe it's it's about time uh, Ghanaians, we the citizens, have to wake up. The coalition had planned to hold the commemoration adjacent the Joel branch of Men's Gold. According to them, the injunction gave no tangible reason for the suspension. Unfortunately, they did not state any categorical reason. They didn't give any, any tangible reason. All they said is the space is not enough, which shouldn't be. We are talking about a president who is a, free, a, 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 a human rights activist. And so if we are under such a government that a president that we all believe is a serious human rights activist and we, we, we are under such a, a ruler, we don't expect such things to be done to us. They are thus forced to inform all members who had planned to join them for the program to suspend plans until further notice. Isaac Nyako, chairman of the coalition, says they will resort to court to overturn the injunction to hold the program later. We have, we have informed them, but as to whether they would be there or not, I, would, I, I can't tell because some called on phone, they are not on our platform. That is why we are using this medium to let them know that this is the situation we have. We intend to go to court coming next week so that we can sort for a, a proper date and then communicate the next available date that court will give us. Then we can let them know that the dates and the venue the next appropriate date and venue that will have the event. But for now, we've been served with injunction. And I want them to know that this is the situation at hand.